Hey, okay, my name is Nick, and welcome to another episode of the Side Quest. Today's beer is called Kalamasa Punch by Carabao Brewery. Now, this beer is an imperial porter with local pumpkin pie spices, vanilla beans, coconut, and cacao nibs. It is 8.3% ABV, 17 IBUs, brewed in Agunya by Carabao Brewing. Now, Kalamasa Intramoro means uh, pumpkin or gourd or squash. And this beer uses uh, local pumpkin, which is really cool. It was released a few months ago, I believe around October, uh, like the Halloween time when a lot of the other pumpkin based beers come out. Uh, but I just didn't have a lot of time uh, to drink. I, had, I drank a lot of things and uh, these days I try to uh, not drink so much during the week. Uh, but yeah, I finally made it around to drinking this beer and I'm super excited. There's this beer and I think uh, needs a punch that I picked up from Carabao in around January. So I, I think that's the next beer I'm gonna do. Uh, but Carabao has been putting out a bunch of their own stuff in cans now, so I'm, I'm really excited to try uh, their beers because I usually can't get away to go to the brewery and, and uh, have a drink as often as I would like. Uh, this is a uh, pumpkin beer and I'm really excited. Last uh, pumpkin beer I had uh, was the the Kern, I believe, the Kern uh, Pumpkin Ale. I forgot which one it was. Uh, but yeah, and then the last Imperial Porter was the Tsako Latte by Guam Brewery, which is really cool. I really dug that one, that was a great beer. So I'm very interested to see how this is gonna go. Imperial, so 8.3%. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit, boot, like a little bit you know, higher in the ABV, but I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of, you know, intrigued. I wanna see how this one does. Uh, I don't remember the last porter I had from Carabao. It was in a taster, and it was pretty good from what I remember. So yeah, let's uh, open up this beer, try it out, and I'll be right back after the pour. the initial pour you don't see a lot of head staying here but that's fine uh, it is eight percent and I do see a little bit of the legs see a little bit of the alcohol sticking to the glass using Carabao's glass uh, instead of the regular tulip that I usually use because I like using uh, the brewery's glassware when I can uh, but putting this beer up to the light it is pitch black in the middle but on the outside you do get a little bit of a reddish brown color almost like a coca-cola or like a dr pepper uh, but yeah it looks pretty dark uh kind of you know a little bit darker than like a what i'm not expecting for a porter uh this dark but yeah looks interesting let's put a nose on it definitely getting like this interesting sweetness coming off of this beer uh, it does give a little bit of that pie spice that they were talking about uh, on the bottle. But other than that, I'm getting like these really, it kind of tastes very sweet. Like, um, I know I said cola or Coke earlier. It kind of get like a, like a kind of soda vibe. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, it's sort of a little bit more fruity than I thought. I'm not getting uh, any of the, like the chocolatey or the vanilla or the coconut. It's kind of odd, but it's very, um, it's very interesting. So yeah, uh, let's try this out. Cheers. I think it's the age on this beer. Uh, I think maybe I waited a little bit too long to drink this, but I'm not really getting a lot of the things that they talked about uh, on the bottle. I really don't get the pumpkin, pie spices, vanilla beans, coconut, cacao nuts. I really don't get a lot of that, but I do get like this really interesting mild porter though. Like there is like this malty, this maltiness that's going on, slight sweetness, maybe that's where uh, I'm getting all that. Um, the pumpkin, maybe the vanilla and the cacao. I'm not really getting any of the coconut. Uh, yeah, like I'm getting like a really just like nice mellow porter. Uh, bitterness is there, it does say 17 IBUs on the bottle, but 
maybe the alcohol is contributing a little bit more toward the bitterness than the hops, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like I don't get any like of the more interesting, uh, more interesting flavors that I was expecting from this beer. Now, uh, because I didn't have this fresh like within a month or two of release, uh, I'm not really gonna knock it. I, I I noticed that when I don't drink things as quickly as I could and I just sort of sell it for a little bit, it just doesn't, um, it doesn't pop, uh, I think the way it should. And uh, that's primarily my fault. Like I, I know I'm trying to like drink things as fast as I can, but uh, like when I get like 10 beers at a time and I wanna drink every beer uh, for an episode, it does uh, kind of take a while to get through your backlog. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is good porter, good imperial porter. I like it. Um, however, it doesn't hit any of the spots for like pumpkin or anything like that. Now, is that the fault of the beer itself or is it mine because I waited too long? I'm probably gonna err more on it's my fault that I didn't drink it. Should have drank this earlier, probably like maybe a week when I, uh, a week after I bought it, because uh, I would have been like three months. But I think at six months, I'm uh, pushing it a little bit. Um, I and I. I'm pretty sure that uh, Carabao didn't like over like go crazy on a single ingredient. I'm pretty sure at when they brewed it, they probably had a really good balance of all of the ingredients. But like I think a lot of the a lot of the beers I've been drinking, they kind of just like go super overboard on one um, on one ingredient. Like uh like that last beer I had was like super hazelnut. Like, there's just, like the, a lot of hazelnut in it, so it was kind of crazy. Uh, but I don't think uh, Carabao. Uh, sort of did that on this beer. Uh, it's it's a good beer. If they rebrew it, um, hopefully I'll get it and actually drink it within a month of it releasing. Uh, it's just been me, I've been kind of busy. Life's been a little bit busy for me. Started a new job. Uh, um, you know, my son has been getting uh, sick because he's going to daycare, those kind of things. I'm just really, yeah, I'm just, uh, uh, no excuse but I uh, will try to be more mindful in the end. But at the end of the day, uh, Caraval did make a pretty good uh, Imperial Porter. It just wasn't uh, a great pumpkin <laughs> Imperial Porter. Uh, but yeah, I, I still dig it. I'm still gonna drink it. 8%, so it feels pretty good. And in a 16 ounce bottle, uh, yeah, one of these will just leave me you know, feeling pretty good for the rest of the night. So, thank you very much uh, for tuning in and watching uh, this episode of SideQuest. If you like this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. I really need to start drinking these beers right when they come out. <laughs>